Well, I, I remember we used to do it from this uh, church hall at Dickinson Road, a former church hall, I might say. And uh, it was all very tiny studio we did it from. And, of course, in those days, the artists used to mime to their records. And it, it went on miming for a, quite a s number of years until, once again, the uh, Musicians' Union uh, thought that it would be much better if we used live uh, musicians, uh, which uh, was uh, in many ways a, a good thing. But, of course, it did preclude a lot of the smaller radio uh, television stations around the country uh, from uh, presenting any kind of a pop music program because they obviously couldn't afford to have an orchestra. So that blew them out of the way, I'm, I'm afraid, but uh, left Top of the Pops on its own. But it also caused a bit of a problem because I was uh, presenting the program on, on one occasion when Jimmy Hend I introduced Jimi Hendrix and, and I was reading a newspaper at the time, one of the musical papers, and uh, suddenly I saw myself on the screen and I thought, that's funny. Does it sound like Jimi Hendrix? And of course what it was, they were playing, instead of his backing track, they were playing uh, Alan Price's Amazing Dancing Bear. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimi so, Hendrix was trying to mime to that, was he? Well, he he just looked absolutely <laughs> astonished, you know. And, uh, and so did I. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Said, of course, Pete, everybody remembers you for so many different things, of course, don't they? Not just Top of the Pops and Radio 1, but Open House and all the other things you've done over the years. And anybody who's lived down in London will remember you in recent years from LBC, the radio station there. You've had an incredible career, haven't you? Well, it's gone on for a few years, I must admit, and it's certainly been quite uh, diverse, and that's what I've always enjoyed. Um, I'm, I mean, uh, you mentioned a little earlier on about the acting. Um, the last thing I did was with Bernie Winters where we played The Odd Couple, which was, uh, you know, the, the uh, stage version, the original stage version of the film that starred Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bernie and I, I, I always rated Bernie as a, a very good actor, as well as a comic. When we did this uh, particular play in Peterborough, a vast number of the audience, because of the uh, proximity of the American Air Force Base, were American. And it was very gratifying when they came round afterwards and said, it's so wonderful to hear folks from our own country. And then when I spoke, they said, why are you talking so funny? <laughs> <laughs> and what are you up to these days? Well, I do uh, quite a bit of after-dinner speaking and... Uh, I, I'm gratified to say that uh, when I do do the after dinner speaking, it seems to go down very well. People don't expect me to be funny, but and so that's an advantage. If you're advertised as a comedian, they expect you to be funny. Mm. Luckily, I'm not known as a comedian, so they're quite surprised when I'm funny.